The first step is to download your pattern. Select your file according to your paper format and the size you wish to make. Print your pattern at 100% scale. There is a scale test included on the first page of your pattern to ensure you have printed correctly. Trim around the thin black border and use clear sticky tape to piece the pages together. There is a layout included in the instruction guide to help you lay out all the pages correctly. For this style, I've adhered a medium weight fusible interfacing to the main fabric. This will give structure to the garment and help it hold its shape. If your fabric is particularly heavyweight, you may not need this, but in most cases, it is advisable to use it. Trim around each individual pattern piece and lay the pattern onto the fabric. You can follow the cutting layout included in the instructions to make the most economical use of your fabric. Cut according to the individual instructions marked on each of the pieces. Open out the centre front piece so that the right side is facing towards you. Pin the mid front piece to the centre front piece, matching the notches together. Pin in place. Stitch together using a 1cm or 3 8 of an inch seam allowance. Repeat for the other side. Pin the side front piece to the middle front piece, matching the notches together. Stitch together using a 1cm or 3 8 of an inch seam allowance. Repeat for the other side. Now the front of the bodice will be entirely together. Pin the back piece to the front piece at the side seams, matching the notches. Stitch each of the side seams using a 1cm or 3 8 of an inch seam allowance. Repeat all of these steps for the lining pieces. Once your lining pieces are together, turn your lining over so that you are looking at the wrong side. Place a piece of 6mm or quarter of an inch rigoline or sew-in boning on top of the seam allowance. Pin this in place and ensure that it is finished 1cm or 3 8 of an inch above and below the edge of the seam. Using the sewing machine, stitch the boning onto the seam allowance to secure it in place. Repeat this for the front bodice seams and the side seams. Press your seams on the main garment open so that the seam allowance will be opened out at the back on the wrong side. If you wish, top stitch the seams 3mm or 1 8 of an inch on each side of the seam. This is optional though. Open out the centre back seam. Cut 10 4cm or 1 and a half inch lengths of your trim. Fold a piece of trim in half and pin along the top edge at the first notch to create a loop. The two cut ends of the trim should line up along the seam allowance edge. Continue creating loops for all five of the notches on one side and then repeat this for the other side of the centre back. Stitch along the loops 1cm or 3 8 of an inch from the edge to secure the loops in place on each side. Place the lining on top of the main garment with the right sides touching one another. Pin all the way around the outer edge. Stitch along the top edge, the centre back edges and the bottom edge using a 6mm or a quarter of an inch seam allowance and a 1cm or 3 8 of an inch seam allowance at the centre back. Just make sure you leave a 7.5cm or 3 inch opening along the bottom edge so that we can turn the garment through to the right side later. Use your scissors or a small pair of snips to clip into the curved edges of the neckline and the hemline. This is an important step as it will help the edges sit nice and flat when turned through, giving you a very professional finish. 
you want your snips to be approximately four centimeters or one and a half inches apart. Place a piece of boning along the center back edge along the seam allowance. Ensure the boning is cut one centimeter or three eighths of an inch shorter than the top and bottom edge. Use the sewing machine to stitch the boning to the seam allowance and then repeat this for the other side. Pull the garment through the small opening that was left open. Take time and care here to ensure that you don't distort the boning too much when pulling it through. Press along all the edges so that your bustier is nice and flat. Use a hand sewing needle and thread to stitch the opening closed. Ensure you only pick up a few of the fabric threads at a time so that the hand sewing is completely invisible from the right side. Using the remainder of your trim, thread it through the loops. Start at the top and work your way down the corset creating a crisscross effect. Once that's finished, you're all done.